and today I wanted to do like a get ready with me Q&A type of video. So I'm not gonna ramble on, I'm just gonna get started because I know this is gonna be long. My mom's cooking and my dad's watching a movie so hopefully there isn't any background noise. But yeah, first of all, I just want to start by saying my hair is straight and yes, I did a tutorial on it before you comment that below. Let me know in the comments down below if this is too distracting. Yeah, before it was flickering like this so I don't know like what's going on. I'm just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> Let's just get this thing started. Okay, so I asked you guys to comment on this picture right here on Instagram. And I got a lot of comments. We gonna answer them today. I accidentally cut myself today trying to open up a tag. Yep, my middle finger. Yesterday, I like stabbed myself by accident trying to open up a zip tie. So this hand is just not doing good. It's gonna be kind of hard to do things. And I chose about 15 or 25, I think. So yeah, this video is gonna be hella long. So make sure you grab a snack. Make sure you grab your favorite coffee. And yeah, let's get started. Right, so first we did primer already. But yeah, I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I just got this and it's quite good. So I'm gonna be using it in this video today. And I'm in the color Y445. So let's read the first question while I'm doing my makeup. If you can choose a superpower, what what would it be and why to have a photographic memory is that a power i don't know but i feel like a photographic memory would be like so cool to have because you just remember literally everything that would be a blessing if i choose a real superpower i would choose to be invisible so that i could listen to other people's conversations or i could just go anywhere i want while being invisible walk the red carpet while being invisible i'm going for heavy coverage today because i'm not really a heavy coverage gal i also got a new lens so my quality is popping that is done let's move on to brows so i'm gonna use my anastasia dip brow in the color ebony when was the time you realized you were in love with your boyfriend so literally i think like two weeks into the relationship Shaq told me that he loved me and i was like hello you're sitting on a central park bench and he was just like i love you and i was like <gasps> and like i really and I feel like I fall in love so quick with anything. Okay, that is a big no-no. Whether it's people or just things. So I said I love you too. And I really did. I did mean it. And we've been together for like a year and three months now, I believe. And I still love the kids, so yeah. I knew I loved him like when we started dating. I know some people are like, that's so extreme, blah, blah, blah. What's the best piece of relationship advice you've ever given? I haven't given much relationship advice, but I would say communication is key to any relationship. And me and Shaq are going through like some communication problems right now. But we're getting through it because it's like basically both of our first relationships. Like I've had people in the past, but it was never as serious as this. So I feel like communication is the best thing in a relationship. Also, make sure you could fully be yourself. Like, I know for some people it takes a while to adjust, and that's how I was. But make sure you could fully be yourself. If it's been a year and you really just can't be yourself, then that is not good, honey. That is not good. Alright, don't worry about this mess. We are gonna conceal that. I love how natural this brow came out. Oh my god, I want this one to look like that. What's going on? Alright, we're gonna conceal Don't Feel just so that they both look the same. And I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color font to do that. Do you enjoy sleeping? I love sleeping. Sleeping is, like, my favorite thing to do. It's so much fun to me when i was depressed i used to sleep because that was like my form of coping i guess and even when i'm sad sometimes i still like i just go to sleep and i just love sleeping i feel like it's a good way to pass time i used to wake up every single day when i was younger at like nine o'clock in the morning and i would get everything done and now it's just so hard to wake up like what the heck age like what's going on like my body just would not let me sleep past like nine o'clock and i used to complain about it but now i wish i had it back because now i try to wake up early to do things like and get things done like kickboxing and all that the next question is a whole bunch of questions but I'm only gonna choose a few. How do you dress for your body type? So I have curls and I would consider myself slim thick. So I just, I like to wear high-waisted pants because I feel like it just hugs my body. Then I wear a crop top and everything just looks all cool. What's your third favorite ice cream flavor? <laughs> First favorite is probably cotton candy. Second would be mint chocolate chip. And then my third would be cookie dough. Freaking love cookie dough. Wait, no, salted caramel is also really good. Okay. Does your boyfriend even question you about makeup? Shaq doesn't like when I wear makeup. He likes when I don't have it on. But he also likes me with makeup on. So I'm glad that he's supportive. I also like myself without makeup on better. But I also really enjoy me wearing makeup. So it's like kind of weird. But yeah, he doesn't question my makeup at all. I need some lip balm. My lips are crusty. Alright, so brows are done. Foundation is done. Let's move on to eyes now, shall we? What keeps you motivated throughout the day? By the way, I love you so much. I love you so much too. And there are a lot of things that keep me motivated throughout the day. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to use that same concealer that I used before. What keeps me motivated throughout the day is honestly YouTube and interacting with you guys. Because I feel like nowadays when I'm alone, my thoughts just really get to me. And when I talk to you guys, I don't feel so alone. When I feel down, I just do like a live on Instagram. And you guys instantly make me feel better. And that's why I... 
I just like you guys you guys really keep me going it sounds so cliche every youtuber says that but we really mean it well I really mean it you guys really keep us going I'm gonna set my eyelids with some translucent powder this is by makeup forever other things that keep me motivated throughout the days if I plan my day like day before like I say oh I'm gonna film this video I'm gonna upload this video and then like when I do accomplish it it, get, it gives me like a sense of accomplishment you know like you know that feeling when you accomplish something it just feels really good what are you most proud of in your life so far very deep I know that is a very deep question I'm most proud of not giving up on myself because I used to like go through depression and stuff and I'm just glad that I never gave up. I mean, I did kind of give up at one point. Mom, what are you doing? Yeah, I did kind of give up at one point, but I'm just glad that I'm still here on earth and I'm still doing my thing, you know? I'm so proud of myself for not giving up on YouTube either. If you think about it, I've been doing this for such a long time and I really never gave up and I don't think I ever will. Ooh, eyelash make away. I'm gonna do like brownish eyeshadow to go with like my shirt today. So I'm gonna be taking Wild West by Makeup Geek and putting that in my crease. But yeah, I'm really proud of not... What is... Did the powder just... I'm so confused. What? Did the powder just... Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I'm really proud of myself for not giving up on YouTube. This is like one of my biggest accomplishments. I'm also proud of myself for trying to put myself out there because growing up, I was very shy and I still consider myself shy. People don't think I'm shy. Like, if I'm around a group of people, I will not really want to talk um, unless it's like close friends or something. So I'm just proud of myself for just putting myself out there, basically. How do you want your channel to inspire others slash viewers? I started my channel to inspire other girls to feel natural in their own skin and their own hair. And that's how I want people to like be inspired. People always tell me like, you're the reason why I love myself and why I wear my hair natural. And that's a really great feeling, but it's also like you did that. You took the, the step to actually want to love yourself. And that's a really big step. And that's a really big accomplishment for you. So I just want my channel to be about love and just accepting who you are and accepting your way, accepting your hair, accepting what God has given you. That's all that I want. Have you thought about leaving New York and getting your own place once you finish with college? I think I have a really good life here with my parents. They I don't want me to move out anytime soon and I don't think I will either at first I wanted to but then I realized how much things cost you know I'm gonna take this color and buff it into my crease as well this is cocoa bear literally everybody on YouTube uses this but yeah I have a really good life here so I don't think I'm gonna give that up until I'm really financially stable but I wouldn't move out in New York I would probably stay in Manhattan because I just love New York with everything in me do you work out yeah I currently do kickboxing and I really really like it it's so much fun um I used to go to the gym but then the gym just got too boring for me so I stop. I'm gonna take this orange holographic um, shadow and this is called I'm Peachless and I'm gonna put that on my lid. But yeah I go to kickboxing. I used to go to the gym but the gym just got way too boring for me so I just I got a kickboxing subscription. It's a lot of money every month but it's so much fun and I'm glad that I'm doing it. Favorite moment from your last meetup? Oh my god guys my meetup was so much fun. If you came thank you so much for coming. It literally made my whole life. That was like probably the best day of my life I would say. I just got to meet all of you and talking to you was like the greatest thing. I felt like I was just talking to close friends you know. We weren't supposed to give out our separate goodie bags but I packed them anyway and then giving them out to people and seeing the look on their face when I just gave them free stuff was just so much fun. But overall the the whole thing was like my favorite part like just talking to you guys was just so much fun i have a whole meetup vlog on my second channel you guys should check it out it's so dope so much fun if you had to choose between having a pet mermaid or unicorn which would you choose i want a mermaid what the heck i would choose to have a mermaid because i love fish i love sea life so much probably mermaid it would be cool just to see it swimming around like unicorn you have to really take care of those like they'll run all over the place <laughs> would you ever move to la why or why not i would probably move there not for the rest of my life probably like maybe a year if i had to like if there was good work up there but i wouldn't move there like for real for real like probably just visiting because i don't know man new york really has my heart like i just i just don't want to leave new york i'm gonna take this dark brown this is americano by makeup geek and put that on the outside to deepen it up things you hated about high school lord i hated high school more than anybody has ever hated high school i really hated high school but yeah i hated a lot of things about high school i think they really lied about what college would be like i feel like college is so laid back and they just made it seem like they has really prepared us for college blah blah, blah the real world blah, blah blah like shut up if you want prepare us for the real world give us cooking classes give us financial classes they gave us like one senior year nobody paid attention but give us like real life classes you know i also hated that they gave us so much work so they made it like high school wasn't enjoyable like they gave us things like common core region and they were just way too hard on us like high school is supposed to be fun i understand that you're preparing us for college or whatever but everything we did didn't really prepare us for college honestly 
honestly. It didn't prepare me for college that much. I feel like they're being way too hard on kids and I can't even imagine what they're doing now. I graduated from college almost two years ago. It's gonna be two years in June and they were crazy. Makeup Forever gave me a bunch of these eyeliners. They come in literally every single color and they're so creamy and they glide on so good. Is there anything else in your future other than YouTube? This is a question I've never been asked and I honestly don't know. I feel like there are things that YouTube could lead you to. I don't know if there's anything specific that um, is gonna be something that's not associated with YouTube. I know I want to do modeling. I want to do acting. I want to like have a business. So those are probably things that don't have to do with YouTube. But YouTube will definitely help me get there. I think I'm gonna take this bronzy one and try to mix it because I don't really like how this one looks. Being a YouTuber take a lot out of your day to day life. I feel like it does but I don't really feel it because I've been doing this for so long. Taking a day to like film and a day to edit is just natural to me. And I would say that sometimes I would miss hangouts just to stay home and edit but I don't really don't mind like it doesn't feel like I'm missing out on fun or anything because I genuinely enjoy doing YouTube. Where are your top favorite places in New York and why? By the way, love your hair and personality. Thank you so much. I actually want to do a video on this so I'm not gonna answer this but I'll tell you my favorite place in New York. It is Hunters Point Park. It's beautiful. You have a beautiful view of Manhattan and all the buildings. It's just a great park. It's very low key. Hey Leah, are you going to make any changes to your wardrobe this year? If so, what types of looks are you going for? Really? This girl always comments on everything. She comes to all my live streams on Instagram and I love her. Thanks for supporting me girl. I really just want to be very clean and minimal this year. If I'm gonna wear black, I'll wear all black. All black and then a pop of color. Or all white and then a pop of color. How much do you weigh and would you go vegetarian? 148, 150 something. I have no idea. I don't pay attention to that stuff. This is so hard to do your makeup and try to talk at the same time. Like what, what am I doing? Video is a mess. It's a mess, I tell you. Alright, we gonna attempt to use this eyeliner. I don't know how this is gonna go. I really applaud anybody who is vegan because that, I feel like that's such a big task. For me, it would be hard because I really don't like vegetables that much. So, like, what would I eat, you know? Um, But I really applaud you if you are vegan. I really commend you for doing that. If you're still watching this video, thank you. Thank you for still watching. I, my makeup is so good until I try to film it. And then everything just goes wrong. Please, please answer my questions. I'm extremely curious. What are your favorite lip products? What is a good clear lip gloss? What do you use to moisturize your lips? And prevent them from being trapped. So, um, right now the lip balm that I'm using is the Rosebud Salve. I love this and I love the squeezable one. Also, you can find it at Sephora for like seven bucks. And I also love the in lip injection by Too Faced, a really good lip gloss. Comes your lips up. And to keep my lips from not being trapped, I use that all the time. And also, I also do lip scrub sometimes. And like when I exfoliate my face, I also exfoliate my lips. That way, like less prone to being trapped. And she really wanted to know the answers to this question. She put like four like arrow thingies just so that I'll see it. But I I always read my comments so I see everything. Same way you're physically watching me, I'm watching you too. Lead with pride, I can make us strong. I'll be satisfied if we play along. Got the voice inside, sings a different song. What is wrong with me? Have you been cheated on? If not, or if so, did you or would you handle it? I have never been cheated on, thank God. Knock on wood. Yeah, if I got cheated on, tell them off and leave. Don't go back to them ever. You're stronger than that girl. You don't need them in your life. Cheating is such a disrespectful way of handling things. Like, if you want to break up, just break up. It's really not that hard. You can't have both. You can only have one. You're a cheater. I hate you. Alright, so now we are going to conceal Don't Feel again. So I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I love this stuff. It's only $20 at Sephora. And then to balance that out, I like to take LA Girl Fawn. And this has like an olive warm undertone. And it just, it helps a lot. And then to slightly contour... I'm gonna take the Ellie Girl in the color Jar Cocoa. You tell the story of how you and Shaq met and how you guys really became a couple. I would really like to hear because you guys are so cute. Thank you. And we'll probably do a video on this, like a little couples Q&A. So I'll just wait for that. What was your favorite show when you were little? And what is your favorite Disney princess and movie? Um, my favorite show when I was little was Powerpuff Girls. I was obsessed. Powerpuff Girls pajamas. I had sheets. I had trading cards. Who gets Power of Girl trading cards? I'm crazy. But yeah, I had all of that, so that was definitely my favorite show. I used to try to do my hair like bubbles, like two pigtails all the time. That was my favorite show, hands down. And I also really like Dragon Tales. Dragon Tales is my shit, yo. My favorite Disney princess movie right now is Moana. I love the meaning behind it. You still like YouTube as much as you did? Oh my god, that's the last question. Ah, oh, I need to hurry my life up. Now I'm gonna set everything with the BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. And as you can see, I've used this color a lot, so I'm gonna be taking that one. And I'm just gonna set my contour with that and then to set my under eyes i'm gonna take my laura mercier under eye brightening powder and just take a little bit on my beauty blender and tap that underneath it i'm not gonna bake baking doesn't do good for me anymore youtube is not what it used to be at all people only do trendy things to get views what i'm using is desire really pretty yeah i feel like youtube is not what it is people just do videos for trends and i feel like they do that because that's what 
gets them money which is true because a youtuber works really hard and I don't know, like a pound of blush today it's really easy for me to talk about this when I'm not in front of a camera but um, yeah, YouTube is not what it used to be especially for me because I used to do music videos and I did YouTube for fun but now I do it I do it still for fun but I do it as a job also I'm gonna set my face with some rose water this is by Mario Badescu I love this stuff so freaking bomb then I'm gonna take Roseo Drive by Ofra. Really pretty golden highlight. Yes, really pretty. Blends very well. Cause I used to do music videos for fun. And I still make videos for fun, but I really wish it was back to the way that it used to be because it was just all about fun. It wasn't about money unless you were a really big YouTuber. I wore this in my New Year's Eve makeup tutorial and you guys really want to know the name. So this is the Cinnamon Stick Gloss by BH. It's so pretty, so natural, and I love it. I'm gonna take my hair down because Rapunzel will take down your hair. <laughs> So that was it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already trying to hit 100k. Make sure you follow me on all my social media like my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat. I'm always active on those, always interacting with you guys. And I also do live streams on Instagram all the time. So if you're interested in seeing those, just follow me on that. Always feel free to comment any video suggestions down below because your opinion means the most to me. But yeah, that's basically it. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. So I love you. Bye.